Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Vanessa. This is Nessa C Experience. Today, we're going to be swatching using, reviewing the brand new Poison Ivy Eyeshadow Palette by Milan Rowe. This is a collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny, who is a creator on Instagram. She makes the most bomb, beautiful palette concepts ever. Examples. <sighs> And, you know, I swore that if a brand ever actually created one of her drawings, I would definitely buy that eyeshadow palette. So Milan Rowe did just that. I have never heard of this brand. I have never tried anything from them. So along with trying, you know, a palette by Doodles by the Bunny, this is my first time, my first experience with the brand Milan Rowe. But we're just going to open her up. She is stunning this color story is just gorgeous this palette is $39 and it has 14 shades this is the mirror right there but y'all this palette whew, aesthetically did not disappoint but we are gonna look into the quality so if you're interested in seeing how this eyeshadow palette swatches and how it performs on the eyes just continue watching starting off with swatches we're gonna head into calamine caquisel i don't know if i pronounced that correctly at all ivy league I V. Next up is Vine, which is the pressed glitter. I honestly wish there wasn't a pressed glitter in here, but beggars can't be choosers. And there she is. The Ivy. Jewel Weed. And that is the whole first row swatched out. Heading into the second row with pistachio. Poison Ivy. Allergy Season. New Leaf. Such an itch. Don't be rash. And last but not least, Not Today Batman, which I'm guessing is a play on Poison Ivy from Batman. <laughs> but this is the entire color story swatched out. It is stunning. It is beautiful. The only shade I wish were actually a shimmer is the pressed glitter, but this color story and this palette excites me. So we're going to go on to the eye demo. Before we start, I did put my eye base all over my eyes. I used the Sigma eyeshadow base in the shade Ignite. I am a Sigma affiliate. You can use code NessaC10 for 10% off of your order with Sigma. But now we're just going to get into the eyeshadow. I'm going to head into Calamine with my Morphe M513 brush. A lot of kickback up in here, but we're going to put this all over the eye, following our crease and blowing this upwards and outwards. Although this is a very light shade, you can definitely see it from the jump. The opacity is there. Following up, we're going to head into New Leaf with a different Morphe M513 brush. And we're just going to follow along underneath the shade that we just laid down, Calamine. This shade is also very pigmented off of the bat. Look at that beauty. 
honestly they could not have put out a better color story or concept for me because I am a lover of all green eyeshadow. Next up, again, with my Morphe M513, we're going to head into Caquiso, which is a somewhat deeper shade of green than the shade New Leaf. And we're just going to focus this on the outermost portion of our eye. Honestly, there's not that much of a difference between <laughs> this one and New Leaf. I can tell that it's a, a bit darker but like not necessarily like the biggest difference between these two shades it could have gone a little bit deeper in my opinion but still the shadows are working beautifully next up i'm just gonna cut my crease with my sigma eye base i do one on camera and then the other one off of camera Honestly, I don't know why Beauty Blender discontinued their Michael Beauty Blenders because these are the best to set a cut crease. And now for my favorite part of any eyeshadow look, we're going to head into the shimmers. I'm going to head into Poison Ivy with my Anastasia packing brush that comes with all of their eyeshadow palettes. And we're going to pack this on the outer half of the lid. Off the bat, it is a beautiful green shimmer. And then for the inner portion of my lid, we're going to head into Pistachio. And we're going to pack that there. Oh my lord. These shimmers are just gorgeous. There she goes. But right now, I'm going to head into the shade Don't Be Rash. And I'm using my What's Up Beauty R103 brush. I'm going to lightly just try to tap in there just to get a tad bit of brown on my brush and I'm going to tap this on my outer V to just add a tad bit of depth to the eye look and that added a lot of def depth um I don't know I just I wanted to try out the brown which is still pretty stunning and didn't mess up the eye look so thank the lord but also <laughs> i don't know if this is me just digging in my own grave i do want to try this shade right here jewelweed because it's such a dark shimmer i kind of want to just like use a smidge it's pretty dark um, and this is my Morphe M326 brush, and I'm going to tap that between the shimmers and don't be rash. Oh yeah, that's a very deep green. You can definitely tell right here. But it's still really pretty too. Yeah, that's a pretty green. I really, really like that one. Huh. Now I'm just going to blend because the transition is no longer seamless. But I really did just want to see how that shadow looked. But we're going to finish up the rest of the face off of camera. And then I'm going to come back and talk about final thoughts. But as y'all can tell, I am a fan, so I'll be right back. Y'all, we are back, and this is how we are looking. Y'all, this eyeshadow palette performed. Not only was this a collab that I was super looking forward to, it is my first experience with the brand Milan Row 
And I definitely think that their eyeshadow formula is stunning and gorgeous. I'm so happy that a palette this gorgeous did not disappoint. The pigment is there. The shine and the shimmers are there. I only used dry brushes and in my opinion, it looks freaking amazing. So congratulations to Doodles by the Bunny. Congratulations, Milan Bro. Y'all made a exquisite palette. Y'all, I highly recommend this. And that's all I have for y'all today. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.